how to feel gratitude when you don't feel gratitude. Christine L. Conroy. Welcome to Happy Stuff and Fluff, a channel for women over 50 who are getting happy and growing younger. So talking about gratitude again today, I've talked about it before and I'm going to leave a link to that video which goes into the benefits of why you should be feeling gratitude anyway, of the benefits to you and to those people around you. So I'm not going to be talking too much about the benefits of gratitude today. I talked in a previous video, I talked about meditating on the word gratitude in order to help you to feel gratitude before, uh, in that case I think it was before going to see a friend who was ill. I'll leave a link to that video too. Now the question uh, came up, gratitude is banded about all over the place at the moment, we know the benefits for it, we know we should be feeling gratitude. Sometimes we just don't feel gratitude. Um, you know, it's the same with all of these emotions that we should be feeling. And I think sometimes we can get ourselves into a state where we think, okay, well, I should feel this and I should feel that, but I'm not actually feeling it. And then we start to think there's something wrong and so on and so on. So today what I want to do, and it does include a meditation. And as I said the last time I mentioned that word, don't turn me off. Um, the lights are a little bit dimmed in here at the moment, but there are no candles and I'm not going to be doing any chanting and nor am I going to ask you to do that either, at least not in this video. Um, but what I do want us to do is just a few minutes of a gratitude meditation that is going to help you to actually feel that state of being because as I said, we know we ought to feel gratitude and we can think those thoughts, uh, gratitude thoughts, but if it's going to be genuine, if it's going to help you, if it's going to increase your happiness level, you have to feel it and you have to feel it here. It is an emotional state of being. So, first of all, uh, a couple of things I want you to do. Have the intention. You want to feel grateful, you want to feel thankful, that's the first thing. And the next thing I want you to do is I want you to think about a person, a person you love, a person for whom you are grateful, a person for whom you are so thankful that they are in your life. Okay, think about that person, choose that person, him or her. If there are no hims or hers in your life that you feel grateful for, it can be a pet, quite easily be a pet that you love and care for. So get that person ready. And the other thing is actually an object. I want you to think about an object that you might have in your home that you love, that you are pleased that you bought, that looks beautiful in your home, that you really enjoy the experience of a particular object. It could be a coffee table, it could be a sofa, anything, an object that you feel um, that you feel glad that you have. Okay, when you've got those two things and you've thought about those and you've got a few minutes to spend with me now focusing on what's good in your life for the next few minutes and before we start this, if you can hear what I call the city noises in the background, you may hear an ambulance, you may hear a police car, you may hear some other kind of noise. Don't let those noises disturb you. Listen to them, hear them and let them go. And this is the same with any kind of quiet meditation that you do. Meditation is not about blanking your mind completely, which is impossible for most of us. That's not what we're trying to do. So your mind will wander, you'll think about other things, gently bring your mind back to my voice, what I'm talking about, what I'm asking you to think about and carry on and do that each time your mind starts to wander. It's not going to take as long to do this um, but I want you to use it so that when, when you get this sense of feeling, this physical sense of gratitude and know how to do it 
um, then you'll be able to use it for other things in other areas of your life that you want to feel grateful for, that you can focus on and be grateful for and um, use that to help to increase your happiness levels. Okay, so sit yourself comfortably. Now, I'm sitting on a sofa with a cushion behind me and my legs are crossed. You don't have to sit that way. Just sit comfortably. Okay, so my hands are going to be like this. You don't have to sit like that either. Just sit as comfortably as you possibly can. And we're going to start just with a few deep breaths. Okay, so in through your belly, you know what that means. Um, just put your hands on your tummy for a second. Breathe in. Let your belly push out. And as you breathe out, your belly gently falls back down again. So breathe in. Now notice that with each out breath, your shoulders are going to drop and you are going to relax a little bit more, okay? So let's breathe in. Just let your shoulders drop. Let your body feel heavy. Start to let all the concerns of the day drain out with every breath out. Okay, you ready? Breathe in. With each breath, feel more relaxed. I want to get a little bit more quiet. Focus on your tummy, focus on your breathing, okay? Now, whatever surface you're actually sitting on, I want you to feel where your body is in contact with that surface. So feel your legs, your thighs, where they touch the surface of whatever it is you're seated on. Just focus on that, feel that, Imagine the object you thought about before we started. Picture that object in your mind. Think about how much you like it. How much you appreciate the way it looks.
first it's going to be a thought of gratitude you're going to think how grateful you are for that person think gratitude while you're seeing the person or the pet in your mind's eye on the physical sense. deep breath you're back in the room how do you feel okay now I want you to practice that practice it every day if you can and eventually what I want you to do is think about 
think about something that you want to be grateful for that you don't quite feel grateful for. Uh, lots of people use um, gratitude in terms of manifesting, manifesting things in their life. Um, yeah, that's great. Um, I, I love that idea too. But for us at this moment in time, I want you to build your gratitude muscle just to help you gain all the benefits in terms of increasing your happiness levels. And as I mentioned earlier, watch the video about the benefits of gratitude in order to um, help you and to understand why feeling grateful is so good for us. And um, keep practicing that meditation, as I say, um, use different things, different people in order to feel grateful for, and let gratitude become a bigger part of your life. Okay, tell me how that made you feel in the comments box. I'd love to know and uh, let me know how you get on with the practicing of it. Okay, until the next time, remember that on the Happy Stuff and Fluff, we are getting happy and growing younger. Thank you for being here. I so appreciate you, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.